Welcome to Destination Reading. Click a button to begin your journey on the path of reading. A story, Papa. Well, how about a tall tale? Tall tale? What's that? <laughs> What's a tall tale? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Use your imagination to make an explanation. Throw in some exaggeration, and that makes a tall tale fun. Tell your tale as if it's true. You make it sound funny is what you do, but you know it's all just for fun to entertain everyone. Now here's an example. Now you see those banyan trees over there. Long ago there were many trees in Arizona, but they got so thirsty that they drank up all the water and created a desert. So those trees, they just picked up their roots and walked themselves here to Mississippi to get a big drink from the river. Well, there was so much water they never had to leave, but they kept their roots sticking out just in case they gotta go walking again. Are you sure about that, Papa? Well, that's the way I heard it. Use your imagination to make an explanation. Throw in some exaggeration. And that makes a tall tale fun. Tell your tale as if it's true. You make it sound funny is what you do. But you know it's all just for fun to entertain everyone. This is a tall tale called Big John Henry. Tall tales use exaggeration to create larger-than-life characters and incredible events. Big John Henry: A Tall Tale, retold by Kelly Kiros, illustrated by Bill Olmsted. Big John Henry was a giant of a man. He was nearly ten feet tall, and he weighed more than four horses. People said his muscles were made of steel. He was so strong that when he swung his hammer, you could hear it pounding a hundred miles away. The character of Big John Henry is based on a real man, John Henry. Can you find examples of exaggeration in this story that make it a tall tale? John Henry worked for the railroad. He and his friend Little Bill laid track for the trains. They were the fastest railroad team in the world. They could lay track across a whole state in only two hours. One day, Big John Henry and Little Bill were laying track in West Virginia. They worked so fast that they didn't look where they were going. They bumped right into Big Ben Mountain. What should we do? Asked Little Bill. We can't go straight through a mountain. John Henry handed a piece of track to Little Bill. You hold this against the mountain," said John Henry. "I'll hammer it into the rock." Little Bill held the track in place against the mountain. John Henry picked up a hammer in each hand. He started pounding on the track. P 
pieces of rock the size of cows flew off in all directions, and that's how work on the Big Ben Tunnel began. The next day, a salesman came into camp. He had a new kind of drill. It was a machine that ran on steam. He showed the drill to John Henry's boss. My steam drill can cut through that mountain faster than any man, bragged the salesman. The boss laughed. I'll bet that big John Henry can beat your steam drill. He's the strongest and fastest railroad man in the world. It's a bet, said the salesman. The race was on. Everyone walked to the end of the tunnel. John Henry and Little Bill set up on the right. The salesman set up on the left. On your mark, get set, go, cried the boss. The salesman fired up the shiny new steam drill. It jumped and roared and bit into the mountain like a lion. Big John Henry swung his two hammers. He hammered so hard that sparks flew like fireflies in the dark tunnel. He pounded faster than lightning, and the sound of his hammer was like thunder. The race went on all day and all night. As daylight came, the steam drill jammed. It smoked and choked. It spit and spat. Finally, it just broke down. But John Henry kept on hammering. He hammered so hard that he broke right through the mountain and finished the Big Ben Tunnel. The workers lifted John Henry onto their shoulders. Hooray for Big John Henry! They shouted. He's stronger and faster than any machine. The salesman went away with his broken steam drill. Nobody remembers his name, but Big John Henry became a hero, and we still tell his story today. Let's make compound words. A compound word is made when two words are put together to make a new word. Watch this. We can take the word air and add the word plane to make the word airplane. Make more compound words with air. Click a blue arrow to choose a word. Port. Port. Air. Port. Port. Airport. Nice word. Now make another word. Airmail. Super. You used each word to make a new word. Now let's try a new set of words. Firefly. Fireplace. Firewood. Excellent. You made three new compound words.
daydream. Cool compound. <coughs> Daylight. Daytime. Some place. Sometime. Somewhere. <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> Grandmother. Grandparent. <coughs> Waterfall. <coughs> Waterfront. Watermelon. Rainbow. Raincoat. Rainstorm. <coughs> Outfield. <coughs> Outfit. <coughs> Outlaw. This time, you'll add a word to the beginning to make new compound words. <coughs> Classmate. Way to go! Playmate. <coughs> Teammate. <coughs> Keyboard. Snowboard. <coughs> Surfboard. <coughs> anyway.
driveway. <coughs> Highway. Dragonfly. Butterfly. Firefly. Anyone. Everyone. Someone. Goldfish. Jellyfish. Starfish. Ballroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. Rainstorm. Snowstorm. Thunderstorm. Let's try something a little different. Add a word after the word day to make the word daylight. Only one of the choices is correct. Oops. Make the word daylight. Daylight. Super. Make the compound word firefly. Firefly. Good job. Make the compound word nobody. Nobody. Nice work. Make the compound word everyone. Everyone. That's the word. Make the compound word salesman. Salesman. Yes. Railroad. Great. Add a word before the word berry to make the compound word blueberry. Blueberry. That's the word.
Make the compound word watermelon. Watermelon. Yes. Make the compound word sunflower. Sun. Sunflower. Good job. Make the compound word moonlight. Moonlight. Nice work. Make the compound word pancake. Pancake. Great. Make the compound word earthquake. Earthquake. Super. Click the go on arrow to go to the next activity. Did you know that sometimes you can break a word into two separate words? Here's an example. If you take the word raindrop and break it in the middle, you get rain and drop. To break a word into two words, click each bead to move letters over, like this. That's rain and drop. Now you try it. When you found the two words, click OK to check your work. Here's the word firefly. That's fire and fly. Excellent. Here's the word everyone. That's every and one. Bravo! Here's the word Nobody. That's no and body. Way to go! Here's the word moonlight. That's moon and light. Awesome! Here's the word watermelon. That's water and melon. Fantastic! Here's the word pancake. That's pan and cake. Fantastic. Here's the word cowboy. That's cow and boy. Awesome. Here's the word butterfly. That's butter and fly. Way to go. Here's the word sunset. Suns. That's sun and set. Excellent. Here's the word cupcake. That's cup and cake. Bravo! Nice job. You found lots of words in these compound words. Click the go on arrow to go to the next activity. Now that you've learned how to combine words to make compound words, have fun making your own compound words. Use your own words or words from these lists to make compound words. Make some real words and some silly words. Water. Blue.
Sight words are words you'll need to memorize because you can't really sound them out. Let's learn some sight words. Please welcome the word people. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. People. These sentences are all missing the word people. Drag the word people to an open spot in one of the sentences. How many people are in your family? Great. Let's complete another sentence. Many people were at the park. Some people live in the city. Introducing the word water. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. Water. Use the word water to complete these sentences. The water in the lake was cold. Drink plenty of water on hot days. We need to water the plants. Here's the fabulous word bin. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. Bin. Use the word bin to complete these sentences. Have you been to the zoo? She has been a teacher for twelve years. I have been looking forward to this. This is the amazing word call. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. Call. Use the word call to complete these sentences. I will call you. Did you call the doctor? Mother will call to order pizza. And now, taking the spotlight, the word who. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. Who. You. Do you know who drew this? I know who my teacher will be. Guess who wrote this book? Introducing the word find. Look at the word and say it out loud with me. Find. Use the word find to complete these sentences. What did you find in the box? I may find snakes in the desert. Did you find the answer to your question? Here's the fabulous word mountain. Look at the word. And say it out loud with me. Mountain. Use the word mountain. I can see the mountain from my house. We climbed the mountain. That mountain is a volcano. Good job. You learned some new sight words. This sentence is missing a word. Listen. Many. Camp in forests. Find the sight word that makes sense in the sentence and put it in the open spot. Many people camp in forests. Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. The ocean. The ocean water was too cold. Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. It has a hot summer. It has been a hot summer. Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. Please, me. Please call me. Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. Do you know? Invented the computer. Do you know who invented the computer? 
Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. Where did you? That pretty rock. Where did you find that pretty rock? Find the sight word that goes in this sentence. There is snow on the. There is snow on the mountain. Great job learning sight words. Click the go on arrow to go to the next activity. Read Big John Henry by yourself. Look for examples of exaggeration.
Do you think a man could really win a race against a machine? Tall tales, like the story you read, Big John Henry, use lots of exaggeration. Exaggeration uses lots of colorful words to make something sound larger than life or incredible. A lot of the time, exaggeration stretches the truth. A sentence that isn't exaggerated is sometimes a little plain. These sentences are either exaggerated or plain. Drag all the exaggerated sentences to this column. Drag all the plain sentences to this column. Click OK when you're ready to check your work. He he was strong. He was ten feet tall. His muscles were made of steel. He ha he worked quickly. Oops, not quite, but good try. His m he, he keep trying. You're not there yet. He was strong. He was tall. He hammered faster than lightning. He worked quickly. He was ten feet tall. His muscles were made of steel. Let's try again. These sentences belong in the exaggerated column. These sentences belong in the plain column. He he hammered faster than lightning. Great sorting job. Click the go on arrow to go to the next activity. When John Henry was a little baby, sitting on his daddy's knee, he grabbed a hammer and a little piece of steel. Said, "This hammer is the one for me, for me. This hammer is the one for me." When John Henry worked on the railroad, swinging that hammer all day. He laid down track all over this land. Said there's nobody faster than me, than me. There's nobody faster than me. Now a salesman said to John Henry, I'm gonna bring that steam drill around. I'm gonna take that steam drill out on the job. I'm gonna pound that steel on down, on down. Gonna pound that steel on down. John Henry told the salesman, A man ain't nothing but a man. But there's no way that steam drill's gonna beat me down. I'd rather have a hammer in my hand, my hand. I'd rather have a hammer in my hand. The salesman with the steam drill, well he wore a mighty big frown, 'cause John Henry hammered through the mountain, but the steam drill only broke down, broke down. The steam drill only broke down. We can use words to say things in a plain way or in an exaggerated way. Here's a plain way to talk about John Henry. John Henry was strong. Here's an exaggerated way to talk about John Henry. John. My dog.